this roadblock. The Fifth Circuit has held that it's an illegal program. Lawmakers push to avert rail strikes. It's not something we're relishing, but it's something that we have to do. Morning, Idaho college students. It's hard that we are without these four beautiful kids tonight. Good morning. I'm Steve Kathan. With the CBS World News Roundup, a federal court has rejected a bid to put President Biden's $400 billion student loan forgiveness plan back on track. Legal analyst Jessica Levinson says it's the latest in a string of legal setbacks on this. This means that the program will not be implemented right now. This is obviously a blow for President Biden's debt relief plan. It's a safe bet that the Biden administration will appeal this ruling to the Supreme Court. The court is already considering a similar challenge to the program that started in the Eighth Circuit. The program would offer up to $20,000 of debt relief to millions of qualified borrowers. It has drawn sharp Republican criticism. The House has passed bills designed to avert a rail strike. As CBS's Scott McFarland reports, attention is now on the Senate. For Charles Hawkins in the hardware store he manages in Washington, this is crunch time. Holiday sales keep them profitable. We pretty much wait the entire year for this. Even the smallest interruption or inventory shortage can rattle the business, much less a large supply chain disruption from a railway labor strike. Once things start to fail, you need to replenish. So it's very, very important to actually be able to get things delivered. A nearly century-old law gives Congress the power to resolve labor disputes involving the nation's railroads. The joint resolution is passed. The House voted on a bill to force through the latest offer to rail workers. That deal includes 24% raises over five years and some bonus payments, but does not include the seven days of paid sick leave for which some unions have been fighting. Our members told us sick leave is the number one concern. The House passed a separate provision Wednesday to provide the sick days, but the Senate would have to do the same. Some Republicans say they shouldn't be involved in the first place. This administration is asking the federal government to use the force of federal law to impose contract terms that the workers have voted against. The Democratic chairman of a House panel that will get six years of former President Trump's tax records indicates there will be something made public about them before Republicans take control of the House next month. The Treasury Department says it complied with a court order to turn the documents over to the Ways and Means Committee. Pageantry this morning at the White House. <laughs> president Biden welcoming French President Macron. It's the first state visit of the Biden presidency. Now to the Deep South, where people in several states are cleaning up from violent weather that included tornadoes. At least two people in Alabama were killed when a tree crashed into their mobile home. Brooke Blair lives in Wetumpka, Alabama, where damage is widespread. We had neighbors and first responders knocking on our door, checking if we were okay and stuff. So, very grateful that everybody was okay. In Hawaii, the stunning beauty of the Mauna Loa volcanic eruption is grabbing attention. But now, as CBS's Jonathan Vigliotti tells us, there's concern that a major highway could soon be in peril. Two active vents are shooting fountains of lava into the air and feeding glowing rivers of molten rock down the mountainside. I waited my whole life to see this. Although the flow is slow moving, it's still persistent and emergency managers are ramping up their planning. It's very high probability that this lava flow, if it continues, will definitely reach the road. So we're looking at about two days out. But despite the risk Mount Aloha poses, it's a unique chance to see how nature creates new land. Four minutes after the hour. Three, seven, well, that's today's news. Today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I'd like to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cam News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace. Love. And all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody.